What's up guys, this is Eric Vasquez here with teachmetodesign.com and today I'm going to show you guys as part of our 30 tips in 30 days video series how you can create complex selections and get clean edges using layer masks in Photoshop. This technique works well with fur, with hair, or anything else that has um, you know very fine edges and um, in the example that you see right here I'm going to use this palm tree so let's jump in. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer of your image by pressing mm -hmm. Command J on your keyboard to duplicate it. Then I'm going to switch over to the magic wand tool and just select some of this blue sky area back here. And if you're new to this, then you'll here's a tip that you can use. Uh, hold down the shift key and you'll see that there's a little plus icon that appears next to your wand. You can do that to add to your selection. Alright, and if you want to get everything else that is a similar color, what we're going to do is come up to the select menu and come down here to where it says similar. And that'll select everything that's, you know, close in, in tone or in value to that blue color that we've already selected. Next, press Command Shift I on your keyboard to invert your selection. And from there, come down here to the layer mask icon. There you go, add layer mask. Now if I turn the background layer off, this original layer, you'll see that most of the blue sky is gone. But if I create a new layer and fill it with black, you'll see there's a lot of little like blue in here, like around the leaves and on the bottom here by the sand and everything like that. So an easy way to clean that up is to come to your top layer, layer one, where I am right here, and select your layer mask. And in the Properties panel, you'll see there's an option called Mask Edge. Go ahead and click that to refine the mask. And we're going to check off a couple things here. Smart Radius, and we're just going to boost that a little bit. And now you'll see you kind of have this, um, this brush here, which you can make larger or smaller using the left and right bracket keys. And all that is, is basically it's your Refine Radius tool. All right, and all you're going to do is kind of brush over these areas where you can still see blue in between the leaves. And you'll see that as you do that, it's kind of updating the, the preview in real time. And it starts to, to kind of clean this area up a little bit so that you see more black through the leaves than blue, which is exactly what we want. You know, so if we have a background behind this now, we're not gonna have those blue, you know, what you would refer to as maybe uh, artifacts showing from our, you know, initial image. And you can also play with some of the other, you know, options here, like the contrast. Um, you know, the feather will make it kind of like soft edges. Um, but, you know, obviously you can see here that when you increase that, it creates this kind of halo effect, which is not what we're going for at all. So once you're, uh, you know, pretty happy with your, with your uh, updated mask here, just go ahead and click OK. And give that a second to update and now all I'm gonna do is maybe open up another image let's take a sky for example throw this behind it I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm just gonna do a free transform command T on the keyboard and hold down the shift key and drag any of these four corners out to constrain the proportions of your image so you don't warp it all I mean by that is if you if you don't hold down the shift key and you're trying to drag any of these handles you'll see that it's really distorting the image. But if I hold down the shift key, it kind of does, kind of does it in, uh, in proportion. So you want to do that from any of these corners just to fill the background. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is just select these three layers. Select layer two, hold down shift, and select layer one, and then press command G to put them into a group folder. Turn on the visibility of your original layer just by clicking this eye icon here. And then you can see the before and after by turning on and off the group folder that we've created. Now the last thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and I'm going to fill it with this orangish color to kind of give this a cool tone. Click on uh, the normal drop down here and these are all your blending modes. I'm going to switch it to hard light and reduce the opacity to about 50% to give it this cool kind of beachy uh, vibe. And I'm just going to throw that color layer into this folder and again turn the layer on and off. So you can see how quickly and easily you know you can get some some pretty cool changes in an image 
and we've also greatly enhanced the uh, you know the sharpness and the the quality of our layer mask just by using that mask edge um, command here in our properties uh, dialog box and you can go in and further refine this as much as you want but um, you guys probably get the idea of how uh, how this works and how useful it is and again you know you can use this with feathers hair fur pretty much anything so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully learned something from it and I'd love to see how you guys are using this in your own work be sure to sign up for our email list and let us know how we can help you design better Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.